Late Mapu. I have every single germ they, they have. It's true. And I am currently battling some kind of nose illness, so. Mm -hmm. All right. We are starting. This is a good one. Astraea versus Clem, two of the top non-Korean players. Two of the top players, I think we can even say, in StarCraft 2. We're on Alcyon. I was going to call it I Alcyclone. <laughs> <laughs> We're on Al Cyclone here. I can't wait to see Tasteless try to say the name of this fucking map, man. That's going to be amazing. It's an interesting map. Yeah. Some really weird paths. What do you think about the destructible rocks of the gold minerals? That's I weird. like it. Personally, I'm a fan of, like, trying to take gold bases offensively and mine them for as long as they can exist. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice that you could... Maybe in ZVZ, for example, have a, an option to get through and actually harass from one side or the other side. Interesting. But at the end of the day, generally you have some some harassment options regardless if those rocks exist or not. But it is nice to have another option, I guess. You know what was always fun was building spine crawlers on the other side of the <laughs> bases. Mm, yeah. There were periods of time where we would do that for sure. Yeah. That was cute shit. I remember that. I think it was... Red something. There was a map where the nap could have been red a gold shift. base. Redshift. And yeah. we would build spines on the other side of it. Yeah. Easy. That was cool. I actually, I really liked Redshift. That was like a Brood War map with how fucking wild it was. That was a great map. Well, it, a great map in the for people to watch. Strategic sense, for sure. Yeah, it was yeah, more yeah. fun. Yeah. A lot of options. Definitely an interesting one. This one looks pretty interesting. <clears throat> Definitely looks pretty interesting. So I'm... I'm... Oh, that's... Look at that. That's kind of cute. The way that's set up. You don't normally see it like that. Can an Ultralus hold that? <laughs> you have to drop an Ultra in there if you want an Ultra on the tower? That's fucked up. Um, a lot of those pathways are deceivingly big, but mm. but yeah. Yeah, SCB going to pop up. Ooh, Let's bunker. See what's going on here. Yeah, nice Somewhere. little harassment. Probably going to have to throw the shield battery down, I would imagine. It does have a Stalker on the way. Reaper's coming up the map. Yeah. <clears throat> it's probably not going to get up. Oh, I think it is. that's annoying. Yeah, yeah. It normally gets up. Never like, lucky. It's pretty rare that it doesn't get up, I think. Maybe if you chrono boost out a fucking... IWDN is triggered at the Super Chat. $70 for saying well, stupid Well, dude, the things. only way to get rid of the Super Chat is to put another Super Chat up there. <laughs> yeah, bait him. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that one. Bit of a miss, Micro. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake there, but it's all right. Uh, you know, he, it's it's like an annoying thing to deal with. It feels like it's always the right thing to do, too. Right? If you can get that up. Why not focus probes? Yeah, I'm a little bit confused by that. I feel like I'd focus the top Maybe probe. Maybe it doesn't probably. matter because they still come into shield battery range, but it does feel like the there's more. The very top probe, you think, as well? Well, like when it comes back, it'll get healed. But yeah, but you might actually get hull damage on or it. Or at least they'll move it, which would still be better than nothing. Yeah, so. yeah. Which is what he got against the soccer. Exactly. But I guess he maxed out how much Value shield does. battery damage, shield battery I mana he took off. I guess. I don't know. So the you're saying he's all inning him. <laughs> 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 if you're Australia, you're ready now. You build a couple oh, shield damn. batteries. Yeah, no, you start making cannons and shit. <laughs> all right, so Blink is on the way. Australia's setting up for a third base. Stray is playing very straightforward right now. Uh, Clem, he's got some Hellions out here, making some mines as well. So, like, maybe a mine drop and a Hellion run in? Yep. That's kind of my guess as to what we're going to end up seeing here. Gathering Hellions or in the mid. a Hellion drop and a mine run in. That is a possibility. That is certainly a possibility. Mine run ins are kind of funny. They are kind of funny. Sometimes they work. Yeah, occasionally. But yeah, well, there's a the run in. Though. Well, that's. When he missed okay. the first shot on the probes. Here is, I think I know what just happened here, Jake. It's, yeah. He sent the Hellion in. So he assumed units would move. And like Astraea, the Reaper? He sent the Reaper yeah, in? Yeah, sorry. He sent the Reaper in and it actually ended up getting four kills. So the Reaper was actually deadly. So when he sent it in, he was like, okay, the Stalkers will move now. So he assumed that and he clicked in. Like that's a pretty common thing for pros to do. Yeah. Is to be like, okay, I'm assuming your units are moving. Let's go. Uh, but certainly, certainly you're right. That could have, like, if they had moved, he would have killed, like, everything. Uh, as is, like, he loses four. Uh, and it does do the mind drop now. Lucky it actually targeted a probe that was rallying and could have killed a lot there. But... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, free probe. Whoa. Whoa. That looked weird. Yeah. That almost looked like dead space. 
Yeah, I, I actually <laughs> thought I was like, did he just jump off onto the map in game two? <laughs> like, what just happened there? <clears throat> I've seen it where there's weird pathing things where you can just jump off into the into the distance for no reason. Have you seen those ones where the tiles are a little bit wrong and the Reaper jumps like a fucking yes. mile in one direction? Yes. <laughs> it's even so make funny sense. looking when that happens. Uh, okay, anyways, uh, we do have Colossus tech coming up. Uh, charge as well here from Astrea. Clem is getting his plus one. His stim. Getting that production really going. Three racks with two doing Marauders, so pretty Marauder heavy. Free probe. Is it, though? It's not free if the Reaper dies. True. It was going to die anyway. Astrea, yeah. though, I mean, he's taking some damage here. Yes. It feels like Clem doesn't have, like, any... Uh, Attacks that are going to be set up, but you know he's he's kept the probe yeah, count relatively low. Defense. Oh my god, oh my god! How many of these sentries are going to go down? Okay, I have to say something here because when he did that, I'm <laughs> like, I guess he must have tested this out and this works, and then it didn't. So I think that was him testing out and be like, oh, that doesn't work like that. Because I don't, uh, that's rare. Yeah, I've never seen that three sentries versus this. Oh my god, he lost another sentry. Dude, Jesus. This is. Probably the most efficient auto turret that's ever happened. It might be. These 200 gas. Insane. Yeah, Strand not able to do very much uh, countering here. No, but this is always nice, just just having vision, unless you lose stalkers, and being able to pick things off, mm -hmm. <clears throat> watching the army. Yeah, and he sees the command center building. He knows pretty much what's going on here. Uh, but, I mean, so far, it does feel like Clem is outplaying him a little bit. Yeah. Not massively. Not massively. Astrea still Just has potential in this game. Just a bunch of little things game. Yeah. adding up. Yeah. It's like losing two sentries to two auto turrets does not feel right at all. Agreed. That's That was probably the big mistake of this game. I think he dealt with the... I think the, all the Hellion stuff just broke even. Like, it wasn't wasn't horrible. I think it, it was great. slightly good eight, for Clem, but just slightly. Eight for four. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Anyways, it's the game not over, for yeah. sure. Could have, those, those kind of attacks could always just win the game. Yeah, yeah. No, you kill 16 there, it's done. All right, another mind drop comes in. Such a quick uh, Ooh, reaction time. Oh, a little bit too far forward there. He has been spending a lot of gas on the sentries. He lost two and he made two more, so. 500 gas on sentries so far this game. Ooh, those another auto turret. Dude, so these, are, these auto turrets are out of control. Another probe, another probe. Okay, well, he will be able to clear this pretty well. Does he clear the drop without taking nice too much, recall. though? Yeah, I'm okay. A little sur oh. It's not the best positioning there for the Colossus, but he should kill pretty much everything. Yeah, one medevac gets out with just a handful of units. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Oh. oh <laughs> that oh was, God. like, really scary for a moment. I'm like, oh, if you're panicking here, you're going to lose a lot of probes, but... Uh, holds on. Uh, look at this. 58 against 58 workers. Clem is getting his third base running. It's still just third base for Astrea. Yeah, units loss are the same. But when it looks like this, this yeah. is like a Terran advantage. With the mules, for sure. Yeah, it's it's certainly Terran advantage right now. But again, like Astrea is good enough that I'm not calling this over. The only thing, too, is like when Terran plays super... At this point, they play a lot of harassment, a lot of drops and stuff. If you lose one of these drops, the game is basically even again. So <laughs> It can be, yeah. And same with, like, if you lose a mineral line to one of these drops, the mm -hmm. game is over. So at this point, it's still anybody's game. Yeah, yeah. Slightly There's... favored for Clem, though, if the game just stays the, the way it is. Yeah, that's that's definitely what I would I would say. I agree with that. Very always... annoying that, that we're even up there the whole time. Kind of insane, actually. Like, I feel like I'd be losing my mind against that right now. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, okay. That was good splitting. Yeah, it was. Because that looked very dangerous for a moment, but he, he pulled the probes correctly. But a couple close calls that look look very bad, and then the rallying probe is just mm -hmm. slightly farther behind all the others. Dude, look at how much the Raven has slowed him. Honestly, that Raven has done so much. Like, he is sitting here trying to block everything. The okay. mines are about to reset. Oh, man. Okay, re retarget, retarget. Ew. Oh, he actually gets two. Damn. Serious damage. Where's the fucking observer? Are we gonna. Do we even care? I think he didn't even notice. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, man. Yeah, he might really not notice now. I think he thought he killed it, so it almost would have been good just to leave it there. But. Mm. You know, I, my problem here if Astraea had a fourth base like a minute ago, I'd be like, yeah, this is a pretty good game. 
right now, I feel like Clem is starting to to gain an advantage that's going to be very difficult for Estrella to deal with. Yeah. Like, this fourth base is incredibly late for the, the type of position this game is in. Yeah, but the only thing is, I mean, at this point, any committed engagement that doesn't just win also feels like a good opportunity for Estrella to come back. So if he takes this fourth base and defends it against a big committed I... attack... I don't think he can defend <clears throat> anything that well except like a really well, dumb thing. attack. If, if he if he can, mm. then the game is still even. Yeah, if he can pop out two disruptors, I think it changes yeah, the math like on everything. Yeah, or a ramp or but some crazy shit. But his yeah. army right now against Clem's army right now, I think it's like a pretty one-sided fight. Agreed. Uh, that's pretty annoying, though. Especially if he turns the army around, that would be crazy. Yeah, Quite a it, bit of stuff at home right now. He is sending the rest towards the fourth. He's going to cancel but that, the that's fourth. A, yeah, that is a lot of stuff, though. At home. Yeah. So, it gets a quick cancel. Yeah, that main army of Astraeus looks very flimsy. This is really good, though. Mm, good harass. Oh. Big EMPs. Peace. Oh! Hey! <laughs> that was nice. I told you, as soon as he gets two disruptors, it changes everything. Uh, and we actually have a Lucian Archon. It's kind of cool to see. Are they? Yeah, they got to be soaking up damage. That's actually nice. Every Colossus goes down, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, that was decent damage, and he still has Zealots in the main, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Hey, the Photon Cannon working out. I think that was an F2, probably. Thank I mean, that... Yeah. Honestly, that could have been so much worse. Yeah. Yeah, Clem did get his fourth base down, though. So even though this looks bad, what we're looking at, we haven't shown the fourth, and it looks like that's saturated. So I think Clem is still definitely ahead here. Yeah, he, he, I mean, even losing 12 workers, he still has a worker advantage yeah, as yeah. well as the fourth base. And Estrella restarts his fourth, but, like, he's behind on bases, man. Against Terran, you can't be having that. But you know what they say. Protoss Nimba? Yes. One Disruptor can change the game. A Disruptor in a dream. ZMP is pretty good, though. Wow. That's, that's nice. good. That's good. Now, if he can pull Clem's army back, Clem's not going to turn around. Clem's too good to turn around. He says, fuck it. Take that. I'm going to kill you. Oh, that disruptor. Oh. Yeah, I think I think there's a very good chance he just kills him here. Yeah, I agree. Even if those two Colossus were out right now with his army, I think he's still likely to die. Yeah, that's... Ah! Oh! Now he doesn't really have a reason to not attack at this point. Yeah, that army looks so scary. There's a good amount of stalkers in here. They do have plus two attack, which is nice. I actually hadn't realized Clem's on one one still. I had not realized that. That is a pretty, pretty That's big a deal. very long one one. Thirteen minutes in, we start plus two. I think if we can get a disruptor out again. I mean there's always a dream with disruptors, but Yeah. Well disruptors can they can turn everything. They're so silly. He's Slightly. gotta be so careful here though. Oh, eh. that was, I mean, that was pretty good, but yeah. for this army... But to lose it, he's done. That's GG. Yeah. For this army, he needs to just kill everything, basically. Yeah. Not enough. Not enough. Uh, Clem, it really felt like Clem was winning basically throughout the entire game. Estrella played pretty well. Needed to have a slightly more solid defense, especially against the auto turrets. A few of the drops. Hmm. Good game, though. Good game. Yeah, it felt like um, basically stabbed to death by, like, many different uh, small swords, you know? Mm -hmm. Whatever the saying is. Well, that's that's oftentimes how Clem plays it, too. Uh, you know, Estrella, I think his fourth base was just so late when he was trying to defend. Like, when he had... Half of his army defending the main against a medevac just floating there, and half of it defending against a raven. And it's like, you need to take a fourth now, and he can't because he has to make sure that he doesn't lose any more probes. And stuff is going wrong. Against a weaker Terran, he's going to take him out there still. Against Clem, not possible. For sure. What what a team is Estrella on now? I don't know. Wayne 2 1 Dark, by the way. What? Yeah, dude. Who? Wayne. AKA Ratatat. AKA Vanya. Okay, no Vanya. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the the goat of poor branding. Um, 
But yeah, he took down Dark. He, I told you, he's been killing it in these cups. Killing it. He beats Koreans left and right. Oh, he's on Match Arena Esports. Oh, shit. I literally didn't even know that they had a team. <clears throat> Good for them. I Good for him. It's kind of cool. Good for everybody. He's going to game two. What do you eat, Nartosis? <laughs> what are you snacking on there, buddy? That beer gave me some heartburn. Okay. Snacking on a Tums? Yeah. Candy for adults. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at Site Delta. Okay. Feels pretty wide, huh? Whoa! Ray oh, that set up? Okay. Shared. X300, Artie, can you get a Cameo account? I would love a pep talk video from you. And I feel I'm <laughs> not the only one. Appreciate it, man. Um, Ray Gecky, here's your, your, your pep talk. Dude, you're a great dude. You have awesome dad jokes. Anyone who appreciates a dad joke actually has a good sense of humor. Your life is going to go well. Work hard, my friend. Damn, they got the... You got the sickest deal ever. 300 bit pep talk? I would have done it for free anyways. <laughs> All right. <Ugh. laughs> kind of an interesting looking map. If you just look at the mini map, doesn't it look funny? It almost looks like, like archipelagos or something. <laughs> you know, like strings of islands. Yeah, archipelagos. Archipelago? Is that how you say it? Yeah. Oh, What'd you wow. say again? Can you say it one Archipelago. More Archipelago. I used to call them Archons before I met anyone out of land. Nice. Yeah, dude. I don't know fucking <clears throat> how to pronounce anything. That's what happens when you're only in your own head. I think it has, has to do with where you're from. You know, like New Hampshire. Education system. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't pay enough attention to get educated. Mm. Too busy grinding macro Terran. Um, dude, I want to see some, some cyclones. I want to see a mothership. I don't think you're going to see the mothership. On that the would be nice. Show. Yeah, I, I feel like these players are too tight to sneak it in, you know? Yeah. Would be cool, though. Yeah. I Probably more see... likely to see it versus Zerg in general. Yeah, yeah, I think you're probably right and for both of those. Um, I do wonder about early game TBT. And the possibility of some cyclone usage there? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I just... I wonder. <clears throat> well, I think people should be trying it anyways. I have no idea what, what the meta calls for at mm. this point. Well, shield battery going up there. Very defensive. Estrella with a, a, a little, quick little sentry surprising. that you don't, I don't see that Did often. he see something that spooked him? I actually wasn't super paying attention yet this early into the game. I wasn't either. But I think it probably has to do with the fact that he wanted a quick sentry. That's my guess. Which is nice. So he can actually scout. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Uh, that proxy starport going to be maybe a bit of a problem. Parts of this opening look similar to the last one, right? Like You should actually just know, actually, that this is a proxy starport. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Especially once he scouts and sees no third, he should just know. It's yeah, it's like he's starboard. got two gases. What are you spending your gas on, bro? Where's your gas? No, the starboard would be up 100%. Yeah. It just has to be a proxy I don't think you see a third command center. Look, he's actually flying it towards where he think it, thinks it might be as well. Puts a pylon on the edge of the base. Yeah, he should actually know exactly what it is, too. Like, especially seeing it was a reactor factory. Like, he should just know. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see him block it, though, right? Because he's actually very low on units. Right? Two yep. gates about to finish. Stalker there. Don't forget, one of his units is a sentry. Two stalkers and a sentry. Saw it, and he reacted to it. Okay, pull those probes? No? Okay. Can't pull them now. Gotta leave them. Ah! <laughs> uh, Hellion's really doing a good job for Clem so far. Look at that. Four probes already, despite Estrella kind of figuring out what was going on. Dude, six? Eight? Nine? And he has only lost one so far. Obviously, they're pretty low, so he's going to start to lose some more, but... Oh, that one. Dude. And he gets the better back? No? Oh, my God. 13. I think that's going to be at 13. Uh, but 13 is totally legit for what he did here. His starport is halfway back home already. 
Really, really good stuff. Yeah, for sure. Only nice thing about this is now Australia knows he can probably probe up for a decent amount of time and not yeah. have to worry about any crazy counters. Well, you can't have anything at this point. Your starport <clears> has to fly across the map. All of your <laughs> factory build time was in that drop. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, there, he knows that there's very but little. But that was definitely worth at the end of the day. I wonder if at a high level we could see Clem look at this and say, you know what? The open sentry, I just got that many probes. He's going to be making probes like really heavily and utilizing Chrono for that. Let's unsiege and go across the map. <laughs> like with this tiny group of units. Probably wouldn't be the worst. The only thing is Blink feels like it could punish yeah. it. Yeah. Especially if you bring your stalkers out on the map. Yeah, honestly, by the time he gets there, there'll be seven stalkers anyways, and that's not yeah. going to go well. Yeah. Also, if you feel like you have an edge, why would you risk it at that point, too? Because mm -hmm. one way you could lose is by losing a couple tanks on the map or something. But we do see a reasonable push out here. It's a pretty yeah. scary. Idea. Maybe he is thinking of it. Yeah, the Stalker's looking like they may want to try to harass the main base a little bit. He does have four here, so that's one shotting an SCB. Yes, get that stim pack. Dude, that would be a pretty big kill, actually. And a really slow reaction. That stim pack's going down. Oh, come on. It's so close. Well, in this case, he should have just gone for SCBs at the beginning. He would have gotten a lot more than what he's getting here. Yeah, yeah one, I, th but I, think, I think that gamble is worth. Imagine if he actually gets it. You're yeah, so close. getting stim is always gigantic. Uh, and he, and like, he's still getting, he got 10 SCVs. Yeah, not bad, not bad. That is a pretty scary attack, though. Yeah, he's going to lose that third base, so that works out pretty darn well for Clem still. And the worker count is, like, kind of more normal-ish looking now after all those SCV kills, but you're supposed to have a third base now as Protoss. Yeah. Like, it's normal. And the fact that he loses that is really, really painful. Well, one, one tipping point would be if he just crushed this army or something, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think he, he will, though. I don't think he does. Yeah. Ooh, new immortal barrier. That's good. Look at that, full health. I like it. That's a good That's a good improvement. Honestly, I think they should just make it so that you can choose to trigger it. I think that was the best version That would be crazy. I think that was the best version of it, though. It would have to be longer, then. Like, you just don't have the micro capacity in, like, the mid to late game to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's actually how they changed it. They did make it a quicker Ooh, cooldown here. Colossus has to walk through three tanks. Dude, he's dead, unfortunately. Ah, I wanted this to be a six series. The first game was okay, but GG. Yeah. Clem a bit too strong here. And he's going to take down Australia 2-0. to zero.